Years ago, Halo Infinite was looked at as the last hurrah for Xbox competitively as a platform. The game launched to fairly decent Metacritic scores, but users were not buying it. Core elements were missing from the game amongst other issues and the generous meta did not translate to gamers. The game failed to launch their console, their cloud aspirations and much more as a result. And even though there were glimpses of hope, reasonably you can look back at that very moment in time and mark when the Xbox platform as a competitor fell apart. Fast forward to today and there's a new report looming over the studio in charge. It's now speculated that 343 is being removed from all future installments that is besides pre-production and oversight. Is that the right move? Or has the current leadership at Xbox and 343 entirely just shown the inability to handle the Halo property at all? We tackle all this in the next installment of The Spiel, our gaming hot topic video series. Let's get into this one right now. Yeah. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2KF, Geeks, Cloud Dosage, Hard Knock Digital Culture, in here. MM2K Gaming back again with the spill. This is our hot button topic video series where we talk about the latest and greatest in the AAA genre defining gaming news. And boy, oh boy, do we have a doozy for you today. This one is titled Xbox 343 Studios No Longer Trust With Halo. But before we get into all this, do us a huge favor hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when we're dropping these doses. And thank you to the member bomb we got the day prior from our homie sean man we got a we, we got a gang full of members up there so if you enjoy this content don't fret members you're getting access to more members content which includes exclusive member videos exclusive member podcasts when we having double hitters and like i said we got these special member interviews right that are coming so a lot of stuff is going to be happening um Stay tuned and really consider enjoying and renewing your membership because there's a lot coming your way. We promised you, we told you, and we're delivering. All right, let's get into this video because that's what you all are here for, right? So in order for us to break this down, I got to drop this into two parts. We got to talk about the story in relation to this and where this all came from. And then we're going to dissect um, the origins of this story. And then I'm going to really like break down what the problems are with Halo leadership and all that other stuff. And then we'll, we'll wrap it up with our conclusion. But before we get into anything, I got to show you guys uh, the story. If it'll let me pull it up. Oh, yes, it will. Okay, let's do this. This is courtesy of WCCF Tech. And it says Halo series development 343 industries were only supervised development of future entries in the series. Um, the Halo series developer 343 Industries will only supervise the development of future entries in the series as Microsoft is reportedly not confident in 343 internal development, uh, developing anymore. Before we go any further, I do want to underscore, this is coming from a particular source, a source that has a good background, but this has not been etched in stone yet. It hasn't been confirmed. Um, with 100% value. So just so we're aware, this is speculation from a source with a good track record, but it's speculation all the less. Let's continue. So Bathrobe Spartan is the uh, YouTube account. I mean, not the YouTube account, I'm sorry, Twitter account, who has proven reliable regarding the popular series in the past, recently revealed some new information on the franchise's future and its developer, according to the report, based on the information received from the current and former 343 Industries employees, the studio was downsized in 2023 and 2024, going from around 500 employees to less than 280. Internal communications and marketing teams were also cut, with Microsoft now managing them. As Microsoft is no longer confident in 343 Industries' internal development, future entries in the series will be developed by other studios with the series developer focusing only on concept and pre-production phases in supervising development. Now regarding future Halo games, Bath of Spartan revealed that two big projects are currently in pre-production phase. One of them will feature multiplayer with a much higher number. What these projects are is unknown, but it is being speculated that they are Halo CE remake and the next main entries in the series, the latter probably the project 
featuring the aforementioned multiplayer mode. All right. And to dive further into this, we want to go to the source that is Bathrobe Spartan. This is his original tweet, the state of 343 industry, structure and headcount, impact on Halo Infinite, new production method. And there's, I mean, this thread is massive. Uh, just to give you a couple of, of uh, footnotes, uh, 343 Industries kept losing people in 2023, 2024. People leaving the studio, headed more to outsourcing content. Contractors having their contracts not being renewed, estimated 50 to 60 people let go on top of the uh, greater than 100 people laid off. Um, and then they said some roles transferred into the Microsoft Xbox team as said in the WCCF tech article. Here goes some other poignant parts of what Bathrobe Spartan had to say. He says, um, quote from an ex-employee below, he says, while Halo Infinite didn't meet its commercial, didn't meet its commercial goals, it still made enough to justify finishing the content already contracted with external studios, but not enough to justify doing more than what was already started. So this thing is reaching the the sun setting phase as soon as they get rid of this content then you know it, it, it may be maintained or you're gonna get what you're gonna get for a while and that's it um they said made a lot of money no no we made a lot of money but when i walked into the test bay to test the latest build every effing day the guy running it said why bother they're gonna hate it anyway that's demoralizing i would love to tell you what we worked on but i can't not just because of the NDA, NDA, but because I'm being loyal to the company. I still want to work there. It does bother me. People praise Pierre. Like, who do you think mandated Forge maps going forward? So really some internal strife. And then there's another one here uh, from this thread. It's this question, but what was the, what was the staff doing? What the staff left at 343 doing in 2023, 2024? As the company was figuring out their next moves in organization, many employees helped out Xbox Studios on their products. Since most of the Halo Infinite content was handled by contractor studios. So 343 themselves were just being delegated to other Xbox games. And they talk about their new product production method. 343 Industries has shifted to a new production method, separating leading development and production, hiring lead positions to do the concept and pre-production in-house and handing off the production work to another studio. So they come up with the original concepts of what they think would be good for an installment and then they ship it off for someone else to develop. Wow. That's, that's some crazy stuff. Some crazy, crazy revelations. I'll, I'll leave links to both um, Bathrobe Spartan and the WCCF Tech article um, in the description and in the in the chat. Here's my thoughts. Um, yeah, the game made enough to justify content being finished. That's it. And that is telling. Remember, we had a lot of people that told us Halo was back, man. And, you know, it's going to be better than ever. They, they reconfigured the leadership over 343. No, no, no. Many of us told you that that reconfiguring of the uh, team there was going to be to start sunsetting things down. Nobody wanted to listen. Nobody wanted to listen to us. Everybody thought it was a joke. I was like, OMM, you guys are just hating. They would never do anything like that. This is Halo. Halo is the greatest thing since sliced bread. And it's coming back. Look at look, look at the users. Now look at the users. Let's look at the users. Okay, let's talk about that. Because I'm just hating, right? I, I love delayed gratification. Because it, when, when I point this stuff out, and I'm trying to help fellow people understand why we're coming to these conclusions, I just get called a hater. And then as the dust settles, right? Once the vapor and, 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 and everything, you know, disappears. We're always on the right side of this. So let's take a look at something. This is the Metacritic score of Halo Infinite. It's 87, right? Cool, really, really good Metacritic score. The user score is 7.8. That's not a horrible score. There's plenty of games that I like and that I adore of 7.8. I think they're great. 
whatever even if that's my personal ranking it's not a bad game but this was your flagship title you needed this to be an authentic 8.7 or above and to the gamers it wasn't that and you guys are saying well somebody, that's great you're hating let them stop hating look at its score on steam 170,000 reviews plus reviews score 69 look how sad that emoji is all right man you know what you're hating you know metacritic what, what i gotta do with xbox okay well let's go to xbox it's a three out of five with thirty-one thousand reviews done are you done are you done trying to throw a monkey wrench in us helping gamers the unsuspecting gamer who's innocent in all this understand what's really going on because we're not in the game of of trying to clap like baby seals for a particular brand we will give kudos where kudos is due we have our particular brand favorites but that doesn't separate us from even criticizing that brand we just did in our podcast this weekend we had a lot to say about concord playstation gamers did not like that because we keep it real here and i'm keeping it real for all my current and former xbox gamers who are still tethered to the nostalgic belief that the xbox of old at its core is coming back that is not happening people lied to you after that showcase and said xbox is back this is evident they have no idea what to do even with their flagship content they have no idea this this three for three studios is a massive studio who was built only for halo and now they're deemed unable to handle the only thing the only job they were given when you think of it i think xbox in entirety we asked this question in, in the bumper like is it is it evident that they they couldn't handle halo the leadership all together and and you know we we talked about how it was connected to the console in in the cloud failures well the court documents told you that particularly even with cloud we knew that halo infinite was important for console because that's the only thing that they had close to launch to help promote the the, the console it wasn't there day one but it was the only thing close to launch to help to promote, promote the console but it was it played a particular role in cloud because phil spencer had said via emails that were released in the court documents um over the apk purchase that he it was his belief that the xbox faithful because of halo infinite would evangelize quote unquote x cloud and that did not happen that was the furthest thing from the truth Um, look, I think when you look at it, too much was put in the hands of Halo, particularly when Xbox and 343 didn't know what to do with the series. They, they just didn't know what they were doing. They were creating games and they didn't have a clear, solid, performant vision. Um, and Xbox as a platform fell apart because of that. They had a lifeline with Starfield. But I think with Halo, it should have been known. Xbox leadership doesn't know what they're doing. Like we need to abandon the whole uh, um, exclusive thing for now. We need to just be multi-plat, but first on first on Xbox. Multi-plat, right? And then you know once we start getting our bearings then we can start saying okay this is exclusively coming here this is exclusively coming there that would have been a better strategy because you clearly were out of your league and you weren't in a state to compete and you could have bought yourself some time to still keep yourself afloat to still keep yourself profitable even with buying these massive uh, uh publishers and stuff and then just came back at it at a later time now it's over now it now it's over you have failed miserably and you have to totally shift your strategies 
And yeah, Halo, Halo, you failed at Halo. You failed at Halo. A lot of us point to Starfield and re- that, that was just all smoke and mirrors. They failed at Halo. And, and Xbox never rebounded. To be honest with you, they it's you failed at Halo and someone threw another lifeline at you and you're still stumbling, you can't see, and you, you don't even know which direction to move into. And now, you know, after realizing that themselves, it just makes no sense to have a huge studio for an IP that no longer is really their flagship. They Remember, they tried to, in so many actions and so many words, move away from Halo and put everything on Starfield's back. And I wasn't fair to Starfield. And Starfield did not live up to the expectation. So here's my thoughts in closing. The failure of Halo is a massive one. It, it just underscores the story of a juggernaut who with the rest of the company was simply placed in the wrong hands. And even though I know there's some who applaud his approach towards accessibility when it comes to where I can game and affordability of gaming, Phil Spencer as head of Xbox has been atrocious towards Xbox IP and hardware and just quality delivery altogether. Story of Halo, this is true. All this is true. This is what's happening. The story of Halo is a sad one. And unfortunately, it will not be isolated as long as Xbox maintains its current leadership. And that's it from your boy. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. They will lead you to, again, Geeks, Cloud Dosage, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, MM2K Gaming. With that said, peace. Have a wonderful gaming day.